hello friends good evening today i am going to show you a very interesting setting about sales in purchase with make to order and separation of sales to purchase per sales order so normally when we configure any products okay let's say this beer bottle and we select the route is buy and replenish on order okay and then i will define my vendor correct and cost over here uh, let's say five so as soon as i trying to sell this product to my customer one beer bottle 10 units and i confirm it will raise an rfq correct right of 10 units suppose i haven't confirmed this po yet and for customer two i am selling the same product again let's say 50 units and i confirm okay it has merged both the po uh, in single po you can see source document is sales order number 5 and number 6 both are merged together okay and as soon as i confirm the order and i am going into received and let's say i am receiving 10 units only okay and validate and create the back order for the rest so here there is a location okay now for sales order number five and number six <coughs> this is being allocated the 10 units okay to whom shall i deliver first i don't know okay so if i go to sales order number six and delivery okay it is showing the reservation expected is 24 like today as soon as i hit check availability it is not reserving so if i go back to my quotation number five and it's delivery yeah it is reserved over here let's say i don't want to deliver so i have to go to unreserve then go to my sales number six go to delivery and check availability then it will reserve and then i can validate so this will become a headache because my sales order will create rfq but rfq are getting merged how to separate you know per sales order one rfq if i confirm or i don't confirm but it should be separate and whenever i am receiving those item it should automatically reserve against my sales order so there is a small trick or a setting which you need to do if you go to inventory and routes you will have a buying route over here in this buy you have pro propagation so you need to select here propagation of procurement group normally it keeps leave empty but if we select propagate and then now we can start making sales order for different customers let's say i am checking the same five minutes i confirm it will create a unique rfq po7 and the source document is so7 i am going back to quotation again and i am sending beer bottle 10 units to this customer as soon as I confirm it will create another po po8 and base document is so8 so by this way you can separate out a unique rfqs 
per sales order for the same items and it will not getting merged and your headache will be gone because it will manage all the purchase smoothly against your sales and then you can deliver according to your need so i'm telling again like so7 will be creating a unique purchase order po7 because of propagation and so8 will be creating a separate po8 because of propagation and then it will reserve automatically when this uh, PO gets served or received from our vendor. Hope this trick will help a lot of you know trading business to separate out sales order based purchase order uh, in this pattern by just making a small setting enabled. Thank you very much.